Hey, it's Steve from Muse Themes. We get a lot of questions from our support community about how we built this widget vault site. Um, users want to know, first of all, how we created this kind of full width slideshow effect here on the home page, and then also how we built this big drop down menu system. Um, something like this is actually really easy to build, but you have to be comfortable working with the composition widget, which in my opinion is one of the most powerful widgets in Muse. So let's take a look at how we built this and I'll kind of build it all from scratch for you just to show you how. So let's start by jumping into Muse and I just have a blank page here. So I've uh, removed all the stroke and the page fill and everything so we can start kind of clean. So the first thing that I did when I built this site is I used a full screen slideshow. So if we go into the uh, widgets library panel here and go to slideshows and we click on full screen. Let's just drag that out onto the page. There, so now we have this full screen slideshow and it will always take up all of the area on your Muse canvas. You can't click it and drag it off or anything like that. And then of course you can see here we have the forward and next buttons and the counter showing. So I'm gonna turn those off for now um, and you can do that by just clicking on the widget flyout panel here and I'm going to just go down to parts and let's turn off previous, next and counter. Okay, so now that we've turned those off, I'm just going to import a couple of images in here so that um, they match the style of the site. So if I click the Add Images button here at the top, and let's just go to this Mega Menu folder, and I have a couple of images of laptops. So just a couple of variations of the same photo, and let's click Open and add those. And there you go. So let's take a quick preview in the browser and see how this looks. Okay, so we've got one image here and then it should transition to the next one. There you go, okay. And there's a good chance here that we have the default image still sitting within, but let's just see what the next one is. Nope, so it removed the default ones for us automatically. Okay, so that looks good. The next thing that I did was I just drew a couple of black bars. So if you go up to the rectangle tool up here, and I just did a bar across the top like this, and I'm just going to remove any stroke and set the fill on that to black. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I just hold the option key and drag it down. We'll put this one in the footer, just like that. Okay, and to keep that at the bottom, we might need the footer button checked here. Okay, and then the last step that I did with these two boxes was I made sure they were pinned. So if I select this one and I just click the pin button here, I selected the middle one, and I'll do the same thing on the bottom. There, now these bars will always sit at the top and bottom of our browser window. So if we preview this page in the browser, there, now you've got the black bars, top and bottom, and you can see if we scale the browser size down, you're not getting any really weird scrolling because basically everything I've used here, the images and the bars are set to always just stick to the outside edge of the browser. So that's kind of how I achieve that effect. And then what you could do now is um, you could just write some text or add some text here. So I had the text widget vault. Uh, I'll make that white so you can see it. And I think that was probably using, let's use open sans for now. Just make that a little bit bigger. There. So if I preview the page in the browser again, there. That's pretty much how I did it. And I think if we go back to the vault, you can see that this is shifted over to the left a little bit. That is also pinned. Same thing with this logo on the right. So if we jump back to Muse and I move this over all the way to the left side, and then I click to pin that to the top left side, we could uh, put something else over here like contact info. I'll just put uh, info at musethemes.com and shrink that down so it fits. Okay. Let's just move that over to the right side and let's change the pinning to the right. Okay, we'll preview this in the browser and see. There, so now the Widget Vault logo is on the left side, contact info on the right, and as we scale the browser down, they simply stay pinned and get closer to each other. So that's it, that's really the basis for this website. And then within uh, the individual pages, I just had them not display the full, full screen slideshow. So we preview that in the browser. This is what the inside pages of the vault look like. And then of course we put our previews within. So that's it. That's kind of part one of building this. I'll do another video next here on how to build the mega menu dropdown. It's really simple and I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks.